this is Sandra of Nomad Stitches and today we are going to learn how to do surface crochet. Surface crochet can be used to add embroidery details to your crochet or knitted fabric, but it can also be used to reinforce fabric in places where it might stretch too much. That's how I've used it for my cocoa jacket right at the shoulders. What you will need is a crochet hook, yarn, scissors, and a tapestry needle. Let's get started. To do surface crochet, you're just going to lay your fabric, the one that you're going to use. This is just a swatch, but you can do it on any garment. And you can choose a pattern that you would like to draw, or you can choose where you are going to reinforce the stitches. And then you're just going to start from the back. You're going to pull your yarn forward. And then making sure that you work with the live yarn and not with the tail, you're going to simply work your way upwards. And you're going to pull the yarn forward and work what would be a slip stitch. You're going to work one on every row or every stitch, depending the direction that you are working on. Oopsie. So I'm picking it up from the back and pulling it forward. I enter into the next little gap, pick it up from the back and pull it forward. And I do this until I have the design that I want or until I have reinforced the area that I want to reinforce. that I'm happy with my design. I'm simply going to pull my yarn through and I have already cut the tail over here. So I've just pulled my yarn through and I'm gonna cut this tail a little bit shorter just so that it's a bit more manageable. And then with a tapestry needle, I'm going to pull my yarn through and then I simply go back into that same hole where I came out of. And then I can sew my stitch at the back to close it off. Another way of finishing off a design will be to make one last stitch. So when you finish here, the way I would finish it also would be to insert my yarn into my needle and then I will pick up another stitch. I will make another stitch up here by simply entering an area of my fabric and then I go back inside that last stitch worked and now I finished in a very nice and neat way and I can fasten off at the back and then weave in that end. Okay, there you go. 